Unengagwa officially insults Zambia presidency, removes Konda's name in Harare. As Zimbabwe is still to respond to SADC summit questions over its recent calls for war against Zambia. The recent renaming of Kenneth Konda Avenue to Fidel Castro Road in Harare has rekindled controversies surrounding President Emerson Unengagwa's political history, raising questions about his alleged role in Zimbabwe's liberation struggle and his leadership's motives. The move is viewed as an erasure of the legacy of Kenneth Konda, a stalwart of Southern Africa's independence movements, while simultaneously reviving long-standing accusations against Unengagwa. The removal of Kenneth Konda's name marks a symbolic and calculated move by Unengagwa, one that undermines the legacy of Zambia's founding father and liberation icon. Unengagwa has executed the first of his missions to attack Zambian presidents since his recent plea with the Russian government earlier in the year to assist in his phantom claims. Unengagwa, operating as a Rhodesian mercenary allegations undenied by him for years to date for over 50 years since being released from prison under the guise of a liberation fighter, has been orchestrating efforts to reverse the achievements of black liberation in Zimbabwe and beyond. Kenneth Konda, Zambia's first president and a staunch supporter of liberation movements across Africa, is being targeted, critics argue, for his pivotal role in pressuring the United Kingdom to impose sanctions on Rhodesia and ultimately forcing Ian Smith's regime to negotiate at the Lancaster House Conference in 1979. This renaming of a road bearing Konda's name is perceived as part of a broader attempt to erase his contributions to Southern Africa's freedom and independence. Grace Mugabe's striking allegations against Umningogwa. Former First Lady Grace Mugabe made bold accusations against Umningogwa during her public tirades in 2017. She alleged that Umningogwa worked with external forces to undermine her husband. The late President Robert Mugabe. Grace said. He wanted to kill the President, he was working with white people when he told the President to go to Mozambique saying the whites want to kill you. The President was ordered by Nyoria, Robert go back home, I said go back home. This statement underscores her claim that Yuningogwa played a duplicitous role, working covertly against Mugabe under the guise of loyalty. C.D. Karen Kazingizi's testimony. Karen Kazingizi, a respected Liberation War veteran, has also publicly challenged Umningogwa's credentials as a freedom fighter. In a scathing critique, she stated, Emerson Umningogwa didn't fight in the liberation struggle, he was only handpicked by Robert Mugabe to displace and divide real fighters. Her statement directly undermines Umningagwa's long-standing narrative of being a liberation hero and highlights divisions within Zimbabwe's liberation movement. Allegations of Infiltration and Division Historical accounts of Umningagwa's activities during the liberation struggle are riddled with allegations of betrayal and manipulation. During the 1970s, Umningagwa was accused of fostering division within ZANU leadership. In 1975, he reportedly formed a relationship with Josiah Tongogara's sister, which was perceived as a strategic move to consolidate influence within the movement. These claims, though never proven, fuel speculation about his intentions during the Liberation War. Mr. Umningagwa did not immediately respond to requests for comment at the time of writing. The Death of Josiah Tongogara Perhaps the most contentious allegation is Umningogwa's suspected involvement in the death of Josiah Tongogara, a revered Zanla commander, in 1979. While no concrete evidence has emerged to implicate Umningogwa directly, speculation persists, tarnishing his reputation among some segments of Zimbabwe's political landscape. Diana Umningogwa's personal account. Adding a personal layer to the controversy, Diana Umningogwa, Emerson Umningogwa's sister, recounted a troubling episode from their childhood. He made me eat snake poison, and I ended up assaulting him, biting him at the forehead. While anecdotal, her account paints a vivid picture of Umningogwa's character from an early age, further fueling public skepticism about his leadership style. Implications of renaming Kenneth Konda Avenue 
The renaming of Kenneth Conda Avenue is viewed as more than a symbolic gesture. For critics, it signifies a calculated attempt to erase historical figures like Conda who were central to Zimbabwe's liberation. The Rhodes renaming to honor Fidel Castro, while celebrating an international revolutionary, is seen as an effort to divert attention from local legacies that directly shape Zimbabwe's independence. The removal of Kenneth Conda's name from a major street and the decision to replace it with Fidel Castro's underscores the ongoing ideological and historical battles within Zimbabwean politics. For many, this is not merely a name change but an indication of a broader campaign to reshape the nation's narrative, often at the expense of transparency and accountability. Umningagwa's controversial past. Coupled with these recent developments, continues to cast a shadow over his presidency and Zimbabwe's political future. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.